Just a couple years after winning a MotoGP title with Yamaha, Fabio Quadraro is now giving them an ultimatum, basically, saying, quote, in the Mizano test, I want to have proof. They have a month. Yamaha has been promising me things for three years in a 10-page PDF document, of which nine and a half pages are not fulfilled. I don't want to see things written. What I want to see is the Misano bike because that will be at 95%. The one that will be run in 24, 2024. There will be seen, there will be seen if Yamaha really wants me in the future. Now, <laughs> he's not wrong. Um, this year obviously hasn't been the most competitive year for Yamaha or any of the Japanese bikes in general. And you kind of fall into the problem of do they continue with the same engine they have or do they just go the same way of the Italian bikes and go V4 and then you you kind of have that problem of the Yamaha has always been great with keeping corner speed and having a really great chassis and if you go to the V4 is it going to handle just like every other bike and you know everything's just going to be exactly the same but you got to say they've already signed Yamaha as uh, signed is it Rins Alex Rins they signed um to be his, to be Quadraro's teammate for next year. So, you know, they're putting money into riders. It's not like they're, they seem to be falling back to just be, well, grab some rookie and whatever. But he's right. Um, being a MotoGP championship winner, what, 21, so two years ago, three years ago, my next year, it's not like he's old and over the hill or just a bad rider. Like, he's obviously fast. He's obviously talented. He's young. And you don't want to, if you're Yamaha, you definitely don't want to lose this guy to somebody else. You don't want to see him going to Ducati or, you know, to Aprilia or Gas Gas or whatever it is. You want to keep him in, you want to keep him fa happy, and you want to give him a bike that is competitive. I mean, obviously, the factory Yamaha team wants to be on the podium and winning and competing for championships. They don't want to be competing for 20th and 16th and 15th, like way out of the points and just you know, whatever. Hopefully... I, I I hope, because, again, I'm a Yamaha fanboy. I like Quadraro. I hope that they do give a bike, even if they keep the inline four or whatever it is, just pump some power out of it. Just keep, like, you got to keep up with the top speed of the Italians right now, and I hope they do it. I hope he stays. I hope, you know, it's a great bike. He's super comfortable on it. It's fast, and he's, he's happy, and, you know, next year they're competitive because this year looks to be a wash. But the comments below, you tell me. Does he stay? Does the Yamaha get better or stay the same? Are they going V4 or keeping the same engine? Whatever it is, comment it down below. As you're down there, make sure to like, share, subscribe, do all the fun things this platform allows you to do because it really does help me out and I appreciate it. And with that, I will see y'all later. Peace.